Karina Gould is the Minister of Democratic Institutions, and she joins us now from Burlington, Ontario. Hi, Minister Gould. Nice to see you again. Thanks for your time. Hi, Vashi. So Canada's Federal Privacy Commissioner and the B.C. Privacy Commissioner both found that Facebook breached Canadian privacy laws. They want to take Facebook to court over that breach. Is holding Facebook accountable up to those privacy commissioners and the courts, or is the federal government going to do something? Well, thank you for the question, Vashi. Look, first of all, we welcome the report and the investigation by these privacy commissioners. I think that's very important for Canadians. Um, and as the federal government, I think what we've come to realize is that uh, there is a scope for the federal government to act, and it's something that we're looking at across the government right now. So my colleague, Minister Baines, the Minister of Innovation, uh, Science and Economic Development, and I are looking at, you know, kind of a whole-of-government approach as to ensuring that you know Canadians privacy is trusted that we're looking at this um, with a whole range of different issues when it comes to social media when it comes to hate speech and extremist content online when it comes to protecting our democracy um, there's a lot of work that's going on cross government right now can you be more specific uh, you told the star not long ago that you were quote actively considering regulating these social media companies is that true and what do you mean by that so I think where we are right now as a government is that we understand that the time of self-regulation is is coming to an end. Governments around the world, um, you know, are kind of realizing and, and understanding as our citizens around the world um, as to how, you know, these social media companies, these uh, digital platforms um, have, you know, uh, have been using data and how they have also been manipulated uh, by malicious actors and uh, there's kind of a global moment right now as to many of the different like-minded countries uh, looking at how we can make sure that you know the the, the values and the standards that we've had for so long when it comes to our media and our interactions as people are also reflected um, in the digital space while still ensuring, you know, internet freedom and, you know, the importance of being able to act freely on the internet. So it's, it's a complex issue, but we're getting down to a place where we're looking at what those tools are that we have in the toolbox and how we can apply those across across the country. So let me ask you about a specific tool brought up by both pr privacy commissioners when they gave their press conference earlier today. They're calling for the ability to have actually strong and stronger sanctioning powers uh, at, the, at their level. Like they should be able, they think, to sanction these companies. Is that something your government will provide them? It's something that we're looking at for sure. And I think one of the things that is noteworthy is that we do have many really important offices and really important commissions uh, in Canada that um, can be perhaps used when it comes to how social media might be regulated in Canada. What we're trying to do is looking at the evidence and understand where this might best be placed. One example that I can point to um, that I think is interesting and one that you know we're looking at here in Canada is the white paper that was released by the United Kingdom just a couple of weeks ago where they're talking about actually creating a new regulator specifically with regard to social media. Right now, all options are on the table. I think what is important to note is that um, this is a space where government now sees that we do need to act. We're just trying to figure out the way that we can do it that's best for Canadians in achieving our objectives, making sure that all of their rights and freedoms are respected and that we can continue to enjoy the benefits um, that social media platforms have brought on while trying to mitigate some of the risks. Will those actions be taken uh, prior to the next election? I think that uh, what we can do prior to the next election is really set the stage for where Canada can go um, in the coming months and years. And I think that's really important is to signal what the government of Canada is intending to do and what can be done. That being said, I am still having conversations with all of the social media platforms with regards to our upcoming election um, in terms of what we expect of them and how we expect them to act in the coming months. I guess why I asked, though, about a timeline is because I understand you're saying you're going to signal what you intend to do. But, uh, you know, the, these powers, for example, that the Privacy Commissioner is, is asking for, uh, they've been asking for for a while, obviously underscored by what happened with this. They might apply even to the next election, right? So it, are you saying then basically that there, for example, would be no new legislation or regulation introduced prior to the end of this sitting? 
Well, I, I don't want to say what could or could happen between them because you know we're actively looking at this right now. I can say that we will have more to say in the coming weeks. Um, but what I do think is important is this recognition that you know the time of self-regulation um, for the social media companies here in Canada, but also around the world, is something that, you know, as societies we're realizing is really not possible. And it's time for governments to step in. And it's also important for us to understand and to think about, you know, very thoughtfully how we do this, because we want to do it in a way that, as I said, enables Canadians to continue to benefit from, you know, the, the social good that has come from, you know, being able to engage with friends and family in, in ways that weren't possible before, in ways to share information and learn that is really really productive to take advantage of the economic benefits but also to address some of the challenges that have been posed and so we're really looking at this from a really broad societal perspective to try and understand everything and have a good plan moving forward that achieves our objectives. Do you think, Minister, that your government is late coming to the conclusion that the era of self-regulation is over? And I ask because you referred to that white paper. The UK has already thought it out, released it. They fined Facebook £500,000 back in October of 2018 for failing to protect user data in the Cambridge Analytica scandal. The US, for example, Facebook said yesterday that it expects to be fined up to $3 billion by the Fed trade commission in that country is the federal government in this country your government too late to the game too late to figuring out that this era of self-regulation is in fact over I don't think so. And I would point back to C-76, the Elections Modernization Act that received royal assent in December. That was actually one of the first times um, anywhere in the world that we have regulated social media platforms when it comes to elections. Um, and that's something that's important. Canada has been a leader um, around the world. And we are engaging with our like-minded partners, uh, both in Europe uh, and in, um, in the Americas and in the Five Eyes as well. And so we are actively part of these conversations that are ongoing um, and uh, we're looking forward to have more to say in the coming weeks on this particular topic. Weren't you yourself though uh, when, when uh, a few weeks ago talking about how those social media companies in the context of C76 were not quite uh, as agreeable or uh, the, the, the conversations were not happening the way that you thought that or hoped that they would? Yeah, and I and I don't uh, I don't disagree with that or dispute that. I mean, does that mean that that is, legislation is that lacks? More, we we need to see more. No, because with regards to C seventy six, they all said that they're going to comply with it. Um, that's just how they're going to comply is different. But what I was talking about was uh, beyond the legislation. Um, so everyone is going to comply with the legislation. It's the additional asks and the additional conversations that we've had with how they can actually just change the activity and their behavior on their platforms, internal decisions that they can make um, that I'm not satisfied with and that those conversations are ongoing. However, I would say that we continue to have a dialogue with uh, each of the major platforms. Um, and while you know I'm not satisfied or happy um, with the outcome as of yet, I'm still hopeful that we can get to a better position because I do believe that Canadians deserve that and I think that they need to be respectful of Canadians in the upcoming election. Are you yourself comfortable using Facebook? Do you trust the company to protect your information? Uh, well, I would say that I'm very mindful of how each of the companies use my data uh, by the nature of the work that I've done over the past two and a half years. I'm very aware um, of how data is used by those platforms. And I think one of the really important things about uh, today's report uh, and the statements by the privacy commissioners is hopefully it will um, further expand the conversation that Canadians are having about data, about privacy, and about what they expect of companies and uh, what they expect of governments as well in terms of how we interact. So I, I think this I, is all really positive because I, one of the things that I think about a lot is how Canadians give a lot of their data away and they don't necessarily know uh, how it's being used. And so I think this is a really important conversation that we need to be having across the country. I guess I wonder though what message it sends Canadians that if their data is breached, the consequence is the potential of going to court, that there's no actual immediate consequence for these companies because privacy commissioners, for example, are just not enabled with that capacity. 
Well, so again, this is a really important conversation uh, that we're having. And I think it's something that is good for Canadians to be talking about. It's something that we're actively looking about, at, looking at. And one of the things that we understand as a government is the importance of trust between users and the platforms. Um, you know, users have been voicing more concerns towards the platforms. We expect those concerns to be taken seriously. But we are now looking at that as a government to figure out exactly how we can assure that trust with users and that their data can be protected. All right, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, Minister. Appreciate your time today. Great. Thank you for having me.